Therefore, I decree and declare, anyone here who has come to the end of a season, I call upon my God, the God of my covenant, I push you to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help those under the anointing. I push you to a new season, new financial seasons, new spiritual seasons, there are some of you in ministry there are certain graces you did not carry before but god is about to be announcing you in new ways greater mantles greater new anointings by the by the spirit of god i stand by this road and i shift you step into new seasons step into new dimensions step into new seasons climb that ladder in destiny in the name of jesus christ step into new seasons in the name of Jesus Christ some of you this is the season you will encounter the mantle of your destiny until now you are Elisha but you have been a farmer whereas in destiny you are a prophet I relocate you by the mantle of your destiny anywhere you are operating now that is not consistent inside outside I stretch my hands I call upon the God of my covenant Step into those mantles. Find the mantle for your destiny. Find the mantle for your destiny. Please make sure you are praying don't waste your time you came here for an encounter i know what i'm saying i know what i sense from my spirit i tell you there are people here where you are is not the mantle of your destiny has been searching for you you are a prophet what are you doing in the farm you are a kingdom financier what are you doing around i stand again by the god of my covenant and i declare be relocated to the place of destiny and anyone deceiving you and wasting your time and wasting your destiny i clear them out of your life <laughs> esther was ordained to be queen but she was in shushan ruth was ordained to be part of the lineage of jesus but she was somewhere experiencing a cause peter was a fisherman whereas his destiny was an apostle pray in one minute align me oh god to the place of my relevance the place of my destiny i'm tired of escorting others i'm tired of wondering what to do with my life your assignment is as important listen to me your assignment if you do not locate the place of destiny you will keep escorting others you will get angry you will get offended your breakthrough your your celebration your relevance is in that place of your assignment pray father tonight it says lo i come 
in the volume of the book as it is written of me it has been written of you Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again. Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face. Emmanuel, when you come again. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. Oh, Esther, your season has come. Oh, Ruth, your season has come. Oh, Peter, your season has come. Oh John, your season has come. Elijah, your season has come. Oh, my season has come. Oh, my season has come. Oh, oh, oh. Your season has come. Oh, your season has come. Oh, your season has come. Oh, I'm seeing a grace for prophetic psalmistry. There are many of you, you have been called into is a dimension of the prophetic psalmistry. Songs you did not write coming from heaven. I stretch my hands. Lord, where are they? Inside and outside. Songs that become ladders for the end time. Ladders into the throne room. Ladders for encounters. I declare may that grace, may that mantle rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, psalmistry by the Spirit, the Davidic order of worship. Take that grace now, in the name of Jesus Christ. You're not wasting your time. You came to church. Just pray in the spirit for one minute. Undivided spiritual attention. This is for kingdom come. This is for my destiny. This is for all connected to this grace. Kela baka reka toshko to branda ga deleketa shkebe reka te baka ta prosko to koto baka teleketa shimeka te leka shko to brando koto badiata Number 2 I want to pray 
there are spirits that stand at the gates of new seasons and don't allow people cross i tell you this there are spirits that stand at the corridors of your next season financial seasons spiritual seasons kairos moments it takes the power of the holy spirit to uproot these devils out of your way it says say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves i decree and declare every covenant and any ordinance of darkness stopping men from stepping into their seasons i come by fire and in the name of jesus christ i declare those altars are destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them please every spiritual pattern that wants you to repeat what you happened to your father repeat what happened to your mother tying you to the experiences of your territory i come by the road of the higher priesthood i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be liberated now my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. And I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn i am anointed with fresh oil the mighty power of god new seasons new seasons new seasons hear what the spirit of the lord is saying remember not the former things neither consider the things of old remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old for behold i do a new thing behold I do a new thing. This is a prophetic word for someone. This is a prophetic word for a family. You came to church to hear this word. The Lord is saying, remember not the former things. Stop giving explanations. Forget the former things. That that which is coming will be a worthy compensation. That which is coming will be a worthy compensation. Stop regretting yesterday. There are greater plans in your tomorrow. Plans that out way that which you have seen for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time the bible says are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us Just allow yourself in a minute or two to just soak in this glory. Sometimes we are too distracted and when God shows up like this, we waste those opportunities. Do not make the mistake of Jacob. In the glory I will stand. I will stand and lift my hand. It's in your glory I'll receive every miracle 
you have for me it's in your glory we will stand we will stand and lift our hands ah. in the glory we'll receive every miracle you have for us lord we believe you we thank you lord jesus for this hour of visitation you have come like you always do to change us to lift us to impart upon us unusual graces mm. be still and know that I am God be still and know Martha Martha you are worried and obsessed about many things you are even offended but one thing is needful that Mary has chosen to sit at the master's feet We trust you, we love you, we honor you, we believe in you. This is why we are here. Every miracle you have for us. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh lord are shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh lord had a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh lord a shield for me the glory and the lifter of my head Father, forever, we declare that you remain mighty in our midst. This house will remain a conducive atmosphere for your presence, for your power. We decree and declare that we will continue to love you, continue to serve you, to stand in partnership with your spirit as you build, as you make, as you restore, as you transform, as you empower. Indeed, we are changed. We are changed. <laughs> we are changed. We are changed. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty your mighty battle we call you this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle forever and ever 
Tonight, move upon us. Move upon us. Oh, we say amen, amen, amen. Let it be so. Let it be done in this earth as it was and as it is in the heavens. Amen to my lifting. Amen to my restoration. Amen to my rising. Amen to the multiplication of grace. As a family, we declare, Amen. Amen. We are believers of your word. Let it be, O oh God. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance. You see, beloved people of God, one of the things that you are learning every time you come, you are learning the ways of the Spirit. We are a people who love God. We are a people who are excellent and organized. But you must realize that the secret to what you have seen and you experience every time is our flexibility. When the Holy Spirit comes, he does not come here as a tenant. He comes here as the Lord of Sabaoth the Lord of hosts we are only active participants we follow as he leads for if he does not lead we have nothing to do Moses said do not let us depart from here if your presence will not go with us you can fake power but you cannot fake presence no a native doctor can give you power but he cannot give you presence. That presence factor is the distinguishing factor. Moses said, how shall they know that we're people separate? And he said, I will go with you. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. I will bring you into your Sabbath. I will give you rest. Glorify your son tonight, O oh God. Glorify the saints that will bring you glory through our lives. In Jesus' name. Please be seated. The Lord bless you.